Alright, so who still has low affinity with who? Hana with Hack. And Barn with Chick. Both respectively at four. Chick is at just under six with Socks. Maze at five with both of them. Okay. Now with 12 AP left. Yeah, not really anything we need to do. I mean, we can do the laundry for someone. And have their affinity skyrocket. Uh, I'm just thinking Hana with Barn because... I don't really see a need to, like, waste my AP trying to get their affinity up. Like, the AP is more for, like, emergency. Or to just, like, have the, uh, the affinity grow faster. So, Barn and Chick. And Hana and Hack. I think we'll have Hana and Hack first. But we're gonna go and... Have Hana and Barn do the laundry. Just so that way we can raise our affinity a little bit faster. Laundry. Hana Barn. Do the laundry. So, greetings and welcome to Fuga Melodies of Steel. Uh, doing the New Game Plus variant of my run. Just so that way I can try and get max affinity and uh, max level, potentially, with all the characters. Your interest has been added to the library. What? When? Where? How? Why? Do they have a link event to do? Did they suddenly... There's no way they went from 8 to 10 on Affinity. That would be insane. No. But they did go from 8 to 9 and a half. Which might as well have just been 10. That's... Insane how much affinity that one thing did. Okay. Uh, I think we're right at a boss fight. Uh, who's going first? I think we're dealing with the two old geezers. Okay, I see. Uh, so, Kyle. Smash up with hacks. I see. Everybody else is basically level 10 with everybody. I don't really see a need to change that out unless we don't need either grenade or a uh, machine gun. Might not even need the regular cannon, all things considered. Alright. So, swap Hana out. And we need to find Hat. Hat should be the one with the, the blue hat. Yeah. Talk. The trans is so big. We can play hide and seek. Let's not do that. And also, it's only big because you little. The tank only basically allows for children to drive it, which is a weird concept in the game, but it's part of the plot. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I like to do pranks that make everyone smile. I mean, putting a bug in someone's hair, I wouldn't think would make them smile especially if they have a phobia of bugs so no that's kind of douchey oh, okay chance to deepen the bond i want to explore around a ton of different places uh so do i you can't aren't we doing that now i mean technically speaking that is the right answer aren't we just doing that now but i know they want me to give the proper right answer which is so do i I knew it. All right, I'm level five, and that means we're gonna go straight into a link event. Yeah, I'm gonna set the stage. Hey, Hannah, I'm gonna teach you how to pull the most awesome prank ever. Okay, what should I do? The clothes in the laundry? Let's tie the sleeves together or something. Wait a minute. 
I remember something like that happening before. Did you do that? Uh, whoops. Do you know how hard it is to untie all of that before washing? I mean it, it was really hard. Um, uh, look, you're scaring me. Don't you have something to say? Uh, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you'd really want to be telling someone how to prank th the laundry, you know, people's clothes, to someone that is literally handling the laundry 24-7 on this tank. <laughs> that was probably the dumbest thing Hat could have ever said, or suggested. Uh, okay. So was it? It was... Uh... Remember which one it was that had level four uh, barn with chick. Okay. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Trying to switch character. Barn with chick. Okay. I want to hurry home with mommy and daddy. Yeah. Repeating your lines, are we? Because I know you did that in the last session. This is the helmet I found. It's cute, right? I don't know if you want to call piece of war equipment cute. I mean, it'd be kind of easy for the uh, the enemy to find it if it was cute, because usually cute doesn't mean like it's, you know, supposed to be invisible slash camouflage, which is what that helmet is supposed to be. Chance to deepen the bond. I want to make the inside of the Tyrannus prettier, but with what? Pretty? How about flowers? It doesn't need any decoration. It doesn't need anything. It's a 500 ton war machine. How about flowers? That was the right answer. The immense jingle jangles. And the link event. Time to set the stage. I got it. I thought of something fun. Oh? Tell me, tell me. Let's draw everybody's face and stuff. Let's draw everybody's face? This is kind of rude to just be putting pencil drawings or pen drawings or even permanent black marker ink drawings on someone's face. That's not what I meant, you idiot. Yo, oh, that's a great idea. Let's draw. And they draw. Really? That, that needed a fade out to uh, three... Word sentence, and then a fadeaway back into the the scene. Bruh, you could have just darkened the screen and did an overlay of those three exact words right next to the characters without doing the fadeaway. But okay, I don't even know why you bothered with that fadeaway to begin with. That didn't need to be done in any capacity. Do do do. What are you drawing, chick? Something inappropriate. Uh, I don't think we show that on YouTube. What's a YouTube? Hmm, me and Hack playing in the flower garden. Oh, that's so cute. It looks fun. Nope. What are you drawing? Pizza. What? Eh, uh, sweets. Wait, you're, you're literally drawing food after you just try to make a joke about drawing pizza? Yeah, pizza's better. That's the joke. What? Oh, Baron. I knew you'd draw food. I mean, I don't see why not. Especially if you're hungry. Alright. Well, uh, with 6 AP left, what can we do? Everyone's basically at level 5 now. So, the person that's at the lowest level 5, though, is Kyle with Chick. Is that correct? Yes. Kyle with Chick and then May with Chick. Okay. So, let's bring Kyle up. Let's have him uh, talk to Chick. Let's tell stories. Or maybe draw? Hmm, that's not. 
I just realized, why does Kyle have a ring on his tail? I know I said that before when it, like, a long time ago, when I first did this playthrough, but he has a ring on his tail. Is that, like, a fashion statement? Or is that because of something with his heritage or just in general, like, some weird thing that we don't know about in the background? I don't even think his bio would mention it. But, okay. I think we should decorate the trench with more flowers. No. Chance to deepen the bond. Hey, did you know? The Tyrannus is haunted with ghosts. Really? Maybe they're after your soul? There's no such thing as ghosts. Um. Well, dismissing her outright is definitely not the right answer. Maybe they're after your soul? I don't know if we want to do that. That sounds kind of... I don't know. It seems like we're trying to attack her in some means. Uh, I'm just going to ask, really? Apparently asking really was the right answer. And we got an affinity up. Okay. Let's bring May into this conversation now. The trance is so big, it's easy to play hide and seek. Wait, isn't that what Hack said? I don't know. Saw mommy and daddy in my dreams. I really miss them. And one more. Chance to deepen the bond. I made this hair accessory out of clucking feathers, but what do you think? It looks nice on you. You look so dainty. Looks like you just woke up. Uh. Hmm. Hair accessory out of clucking feathers. Uh, well, obviously, it looks like you just woke up is wrong. I don't know about dainty. So, it looks nice? Oh. They wanted me to say the dainty line, which, uh, mm. I don't want to say that to a three-year-old. She needs to shut her mouth. Alright. Well, with no AP left... We just gonna have to go to battle. Let's grab Malt. Is Malt whistling somewhere? Oh no, it was May going into her singing animation before it faded to black or had us return to Malt. Because reasons, I guess. Alright, go to battle. Advance. Time to take on the next boss. Dale's Berman Frontline Camp. There it comes. That's a tank in the report. Look at the size of that thing. Can they really do this? Don't lose your focus, you play bright pups. Arguably, these young folk lose conviction so easily. Uh, how can we ever entrust the future of the Berman Empire to them? But what? What is that? Is that really a tank? Unbelievable. In all my years on the battlefield, I've never seen anything like it. Return, everyone. Wait, what? Did we just suddenly become Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. Kyle, returned. I don't want to deal with your simp. Shout out. Where is everyone? Give Grandma and Grandpa back! We're the children! How could they be controlling it? Hmm... This may be our chance. Let's finish these old foggies and get Mom and Dad back. I'm not sure about this, but I'll fight too. These guys look stronger than we've ever seen before. Watch out, you two. You know, best was. Bob says we would have caught the first after flying our dogs. And when it's done, let's take that tank off their paws, shall we, old boy? It certainly piqued my curiosity. Nah. I don't know about that. Let's see. Skills. Piercing shot on the big one. Or I should say the upper one. 
We'll deal with the, uh, the Beyblade later. I don't like aerial assault. Let's see. So, we should probably swap. Uh. Here you go. We should probably swap Chick with somebody else. I don't know who to really swap out to. Uh. Actually, Barn with... Socks, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? Yeah. That'll do. Because we kind of need a lot more uh, cannon damage. Yeah, let's go with that. A little locked for three actions. Skills. Oh, I didn't even know Baron had fragmented shot. Ah, they took that away from him in the second game. Weird. Um, well, fragmented shot. Hit everyone. I don't see why not. Kablam. Damn. Yeah, well, we're gonna do fragmented shot again. I missed the flyer. Ah, but here's the funny thing. Eagle Eye. I won't be missing them again. Beasting. Ow. That was rude of you. Alright. Piercing shot. On the Beyblade. There we go. You've been delayed. Fragmented shot. You're all gonna get hit. Skills. Fragmented shot. You're all gonna get hit. Stealth? That's not gonna help you. Not when I have Link Attack. Damn. Skills. Pissing shot. Let's get rid of that armor. Kablam. Oh, really? You're gonna give him health? That's not gonna help you against Fragmented Shot. Oh, I still missed, huh? Fragmented shot. Kablam. Alright. Machine gun, game. Oh, you survived, did you? Machine gun again. Goodbye. Yeah. That was rude of you. Double strike. Uh, Barn didn't really have something like double strikes. We're just going to use the cannon. Oh, game. Explosion. Easy. All right. Pow! Retreat! All right. We beat him. They're running away. Yes, we won, right? Stop. Where did you take everyone? Where did you take them? Now, speak. The children promised to spare the two old men in exchange for information, which they grudgingly complied. You gave us no choice. They were probably taken to the factory in the south. Near the mining area of Shetland. That's all we know. That's also not a, uh, a swear word. I swear on it. With my uh, last few remaining hours, considering that I'm like 109 years old. What? True to that word, the children let the two generals go. Who promptly turned tail and ran. Trusting in this new information, the crew pressed onward. It is unfortunate they were not here. Grandma! Grandpa! Where did you go? We'll find them soon, I know it. So, let's hang in on a little longer, okay? Regardless, we should follow that what those Burman generals said and head south. 
I mean, they could have been lying. You don't know. Dale's permanent frontline camp several days later. Ah. Gasco military is on the case. Gasco soldier. Lieutenant Muscat, the Burman military forces in this camp have been entirely decimated. I see. Good work, soldier. Everything suggests that the Burman crossed paths with an unknown third party. We may be able to discover more if we follow these colossal tracks left behind. Ah. So it begins with the crazy Muscat lady. But, okay. Chapter 3 complete. Free lands of Gasco. Senji Wastelands. Enter the village. Market? I don't think there's anything I need in the market. Uh... Great repair kit? No, no. Yeah, no, I don't need anything. The Mervin strength is the real deal, but Gasco seems to be handling it as best they can. Even strong armies have their weaknesses. If the Gasco army focuses on that, we might have a chance. Thanks, I guess. I don't know why you randomly said that. The bearmen are attacking and looting villages, occupying others. It might not be safe here. Hey, I'd better gather up my things and prepare to escape. Here, yeah, we've got no more use for this. A repair kit? Oh, you got plenty of use for that. I don't know why you would be giving that to children. You hitting the adventures of Sacrae? I can't stand Professor Burry. What? So you did read it? I guess we're the same. <laughs> uh, as mine's, as like mine's, take this. What? Oh, okay. Continue the adventure, I guess. Got literally nothing out of it. Chapter four, Serenade for the Doll. Ah, this is when we're gonna get one more crew member. There's actually quite a few crew members that we don't have. But, uh, Uh, I guess we'll just leave it at that. There's nothing more to expand on. I'm not going to explain it. Following the direction from Balma's cell, and the children continued south toward the mining area where their families had presumably been taken. I hope they have something to eat. A factory? Perhaps they are being forced to make something. Mom? Dad? What? Sound just kind of just cut out. One of the children, whose hearts were filled with both hope and apprehension, appeared what they previously thought was an illusion. You mustn't fight. The figure of light sounded like a little girl. Who was she? Why didn't she want them to fight? Why only now is she showing up? Who really cares? Why does she show up as a girl? Why can't she just manifest as some other type of creature and or gender? And why is she cosplaying as a furry? Yeah, so many questions left unanswered. And also uh, uncared for because no one wants the answers. Joan wanted to know, but she only kept repeating the same words before disappearing. I'm not a furry. I'm not a furry. That... Those aren't the lines. Shut up, girl. And yes, you are. Girl's words shook their battle-heartened conviction to the core. Yeah, my battle-heartened conviction. What? You think she's right? That we shouldn't fight? Perhaps we should wait for the Gasco army to come. Who knows how long that'll take. Well, considering that you just destroyed one of the Berman campsites and... By narration standards, it took several days. We'll just assume, like, four, maybe five. Um, yeah, I would just wait it out. Four to five days. I mean, granted, they don't know that the Gasco army is tailing them. It's just... I think that's just kind of funny. Like, logically speaking, if they're... You know, 
if they didn't want to actually fight or didn't want to actually hurt anybody, they probably could have just, you know, parked the tank somewhere in a random town slash city and waited out a few days. And only then, if nobody was showing up, you know, specifically military forces, then they can roll out and go and deal with this issue on their own. Because they have the, you know, the biggest tank known to their kind. But, okay. With doubt seeping in from the girl's warning, whatever determination they once had vanished while the enemy drew near. Remember, my children, I am always watching over you. Don't give in, and don't take that out of context and think it's creepy. Uh, shut up, get your mind out of the gutter. It's just a little longer, and you'll have your families back. So, that actually is a weird thing to think about. So, the little girl that showed up to tell them to not fight is the same person on the radio that told them to continue to trek onward to go get their families. Why? Why is her mind, you know, split like that? Why, why is it bipolar in the sense that it just wants to flip-flop and say that, oh, you shouldn't be killing people, but also we want you to go into enemy territory to get your families back where you're going to have to kill people. Right, anyways. That moment, the voice helped to calm their fears, giving them momentary solace with words of encouragement. So dumb. Alright. Let's see here. Socks is thinking, as he usually does. It was a weird audio cut that was not my fault. I see. How much of everything do we have? I know that we had tomatoes maxed out at one point. Yeah. So we got 97 of those. We can probably skip on that again. Uh. Let's see. Wheat. Strawberry. Milk. So we should probably try to double up on wheat, strawberry, and milk. And basically just ignore everything else. Everything else is over 90 on its, uh, on the quantity that we have going in the Tyrannus. So strawberry, wheat, and milk get doubled up on. And let's do like one apple and one chicken. That'd be fine. Several wishes completed. Death room is hiding stuff. Got a bad feeling about the death room as per usual. Audio keeps cutting out. It's probably in my headset. There's something weird going on with the connection. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Oh, well. So, mess room. Fruit tart. Veggie pasty. Alright, that's all good. So, maybe next time we will work on cabbage. Yeah, we'll see about that. More wishes complete. Is that basically everybody's wish? Wow. Socks and Hack are the only two that aren't going to get their wishes completed because... Steak Fritties is trash when it comes to the boost that it's going to give us. And uh, I don't need to explore ruins because that's a waste of time. 
So at that point, check affinity. Max 10 on malt. Hana and Barn are at level 9, almost at level 10. Let's see, level 6 there. 5 and 9. Okay. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and check in with the people that have like one more level to go. And it looks like it's Baron with Hana and Socks. Okay. Baron. Let's go talk to Socks. This tank must have, uh, must still have some more secrets. You read that line wrong, kid. That's not my problem. A factory? Do you suppose they're producing weapons there? I mean... Uh... I would say no, because if the war only just started... The factory would have been producing something else entirely. Probably tools and materials to build houses. Or other things. And then suddenly, you know, the military showed up. The Berman military showed up. And I can only assume that if they were going to occupy a factory for any amount of resources, it wouldn't be to change the factory from producing whatever it's producing to making guns or any other weapons they would just make them double their work to make the materials and or minerals or whatever that they were already currently making just so that way they have more for their own military purposes otherwise there'd be no point to occupying the factory chance to deepen the bond why was the tyrannus created to preserve peace, to invade other countries because its creation was someone's dream. I mean, you are technically correct on that third answer. It was someone's dream because, you know, that's usually how anything gets created. It starts with the dream. But specifically to invade other countries sounds a little demented. And although some pieces of machinery are literally designed for that, I don't think that was the whole reason why the Tyrannus itself was made. Because if it was designed to invade other countries, I don't think it would have just been left out in the forest in a cave on a floating continent, hidden from sight and put into a forbidden area that no one is allowed to access. That sounds like Area 51. They would have just, you know, had it passed down from generation to generation to keep whatever country that they wanted to keep uh, alive and spry with this particular tank, knowing that full well it can invade other countries and not have a problem. So, technically all these answers are garbage, because preserving peace would also be wrong. Since uh, you don't create weapons to create peace. I'm going to say it was someone's dream. And I was correct. And that took a long time for us to get to level 10. Link event. So now we got to go talk to Hana after this. Setting the stage. You're making that frowny face again. Hmm. I tried to think of an invention we could use when we return home. But I cannot think of anything. Maybe because you're frowning? Boy, shut up. It's not because of my facial expressions, you actual idiot. Incompetent buffoon. Dumbass, even. That's kind of rude. You don't need to be like that. You have to smile to think of fun things. No. What? Yes. Indeed, you speak of the obvious. <laughs> Look... Remember all those fun times when we let the moon ship graze and we lay in the field? Feels like that.
I am confused and deeply disturbed at what you just implied. What? Ah, that did feel wonderful. I had almost entirely forgotten. Not much time has passed since then, but thinking about it now it feels so long ago. If only we had something to help us remember the past. Like a brain. Uh, right. Like photographs or pictures transmitted from far away. Or, you know, tape recordings, camera phones, smart devices. Basically anything that isn't our brain. But also is our brain because, you know, we have to use our brain to... Okay, I think this conversation is going a little off the rails. <laughs> uh, did you just get an idea? Yes. If we had a device like a radio to view pictures from far away, we could relive these moments anytime. Oh, he just thought of the camera. He literally thought of, you know, videotaping. Yeah. So you're the one that's going to have us make random uh, live action TV shows or filmed in front of a live studio audience and all that stupid nonsense of fake uh, track laughs and all that. Yeah, he's going to basically make Hollywood. And nobody likes Hollywood. Not even Hollywood. Well, that's amazing. Nobody likes Hollywood. What's a Hollywood? Yeah, I knew you could do it, Sucks. Thanks to you, Baron. Oh, how I wish for this war to be over so I can work on my any inventions. Right. I mean, you can still work on them. Because you're not having to be in combat 24-7 at the moment. Although, I guess it kind of would be that if your tank is literally pushing the front lines and uh, knocking back the Burman Empire one tank at a time. Alright. Now to talk to Hunt. If we don't need to fight, I don't want to either. Yeah. You got a woman up, girl. Come on. This is war. Just gonna have to do war things. And deal with it. As one of the oldest ones here, I shouldn't hesitate. I'm sorry. I mean... Not really anything you can do about that, necessarily. It's just your character. Chance to demon the bond. I wonder, not all Burman are bad, right? And I don't know about that. There's a reason why they changed out the G in the name to a B. Because G would say good. B is bad. And therefore, Berman. What? They're all wicked, I don't know. Some might be, but not everyone. Uh... Well... <laughs> Two of those are obviously wrong. The I don't know and they're all wicked. That's kind of messed up. But, uh, I don't, I don't even like the third option. Some might be, but not everyone. Like, yes, I get it. That would be the right option. And that's true for most things, but still. Why would you say it like that? Some might be, but not everyone. All right. That's, uh, literally the only option we get. That isn't the bad option. Yeah, link event. Time to set the stage. Ah, and behind Kyle's back, nonetheless. Actually, no, that's probably not a good thing. That means the simp's gonna be listening in on us. Burn, are you okay? You don't seem like yourself. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. I just can't seem to lose any weight. Hmm. Perhaps you don't need to. What? You're so good at making everyone feel comfortable with that amazing smile of yours. But you seem different now. Like that sweet bar and that I used to know was gone. Yeah. It got replaced with sweat. Now it's salty. That is very disgusting. I can't believe you put that image in my head. And now I want to vomit. But if I don't lose weight... Let's just get in everyone's way. 
Oh, Baron, you don't need to feel like you have to change for anyone. You're perfect just the way you are. Yeah, that's what a Disney character would say. Trademark copywriting not sponsored. What's a Disney? Really? No one's ever told me that before. <laughs> Thank you, Hana. <laughs> Good. That makes me happy. Well, but it didn't make me happy, so you're a dumb bitch. Excuse me. I'll try to keep my spirits up for you guys. If you guys are happy, then so am I. See? That's the barn I wanted to see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright. So with 6 AP left... We can get to level 6 with Socks and Chick. And everyone... Uh, I said questionable levels. I don't like that. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and have Socks and Chick talk to get to level 6. Then I guess hack and may. Where is everybody? They're all gone. And I think I saw the twins up on the roof. They indeed are up on the roof. Okay. So we need socks. And you're gonna talk to Chick. I think we should keep going to see Mommy and Daddy faster. That's not really how that works, but okay. Alright. And then me. Just what is that shiny lady? Shiny? Oh. Shiny Pokemon? You probably should have thrown a Pokeball at it. Like, you gotta catch it any way you can, man. And you can't let it go. We came all this way, so I feel like we should fight, but... Uh-huh. But what? Chance to deepen the bond. I found some sweets in the mess room. Let's eat them together before anyone finds out. Great, that's not very nice before anyone finds out. Why would I question that? I mean, I, I guess we'll just say great. Alright. Oh, we got double level up. Nice. Uh, With two AP left. Let's see here. I guess we have Hack talk to Hana and Barn once each. Yeah, let's have Hack talk to Hana and Baron once each. I found this helmet. It's cool, right? No. Not in the slightest. Especially since it... Uh, his original profile... Has half of the helmet cracked and broken. With a hole in it. So, whichever soldier had that helmet... Probably isn't around anymore. So that helmet is definitely not safe to be wearing. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter because he's a kid, but... Like, it's just unfortunate that the person who used to own that helmet... Probably got a... an armor-piercing round to the dome. Which is uh, definitely not a good thing. All things considered. Even if I bump my head, it's okay because I got my helmet. No problem. Well, until you hit the part that has your exposed ear, then it's definitely going to hurt. All right. Bunch of dumbs. Now, yeah, we'll go back into battle one last time. 
Because we're definitely going to need to go into a, another intermission. And he brought a random flyer. That's uh, not going to fly. Piercing's here. Can't let that happen, my dude. Oh, we definitely need to swap. Uh, let's put Chick back in the front lines. And that's pretty much it. Did they lose all of their link? Oh, really? I never noticed that before because that doesn't happen in the second game, but their, uh, their link gauge just depleted entirely. Wow. Well, that's annoying so i'm gonna have to use that in the next boss fight once i fill it back up again because the link gauge in the second game stays with you so long as you know obviously it's filled as long as you don't use it it'll stay with you throughout all the battles but here uh apparently it doesn't and i didn't know that that's a problem all right grenade No more out. Oh, that's a lot of you. Airstrike. There's no longer a lot of you. Grenade. Fire the cannon. Easy. Ah, random cutscene. Ah, here we go. We finally get the other member of the crew. On the way to the mining area, the children unexpectedly cross paths with a little girl. The Berman seemed to chase after her as she desperately clung onto a small rag doll. Eek. The girl froze the side of the Tyrannus, thinking she had been cornered by a Berman machine. Hey. If you don't want to die, move it. Do not worry. We are not the enemy. Over here, over here. What? After much hesitation, the girl realized the children aboard were not the enemy and took cover behind the Tyrannus. Th that tank! Is that the brat weapon? Duh. You don't want to have to ride that easily. We'll cross that tank into the ground. Stop chasing after one girl. Yeah, there's only one person who can chase after one girl, and that's me, going after Hana. Kyle, you probably shouldn't be saying that out loud. Yeah, sh you're right. I ain't gonna let you scare a weak lady. That also didn't seem correct, but okay. All right, well, uh... Machine gun. Oh, there's a tiny tank in the background. Get rid of that. Skills. Uh. What do risky zone? Nah, I don't think that'll matter. Uh. Stun grenade, whack grenade, electro mines? Strong attack that may inflict shock on all ground enemies? Yes. Electro mine. Well, they're all dead. Yeah, that was easy. That took no effort whatsoever. The children offered the girl to take refuge inside the Tyrannus. Thank you for saving me. My name is Sheena. I'm Maul. I'm the oldest here. Hi, I'm Hana. I'm the second oldest and also the oldest lady, and I'm going to have to absolutely backhand the f*** out of Maul here. Why? Woman empowerment. That's rude. We're not your enemy, so don't be afraid, okay? I'm Kyle. I'm the simp. I mean, shit. Welcome aboard, I guess. 
I'm the city boy. Really, Kyle? Shut up. You can kill me, Bird. Uh, um, uh, uh. Yeah, uh. Philosophy. Good one, Socks. Really nailed that one. My name is Socks. Pleased to meet you. I'm me. I'm Tick. I'm Hack. I don't remember them doing that one by one the last time I played the game. That's also very annoying. But okay. Sheena was held with her family in a Falanco prisoner camp. She and another boy managed to escape together, but they were separated along the way. Disoriented and shocked during the escape, she couldn't remember the way back to the camp. I am really worried about my mother and sister. So, you were separated from your family too? Family shouldn't be split up. I mean... No, but... This is war, and you're going up against an invading enemy, so... That's not really anything you can really do about. Other uh, than, you know, actually fight back. But it was just a sudden onslaught of, uh, of the Berman infiltrating Gasco, so... Yeah, there's nothing you can really do about that. Just hope for the best that the military can do what they can to push back. The children explained they were fighting to save their families, who were also being held captive. Staying forward about the many dangers that still lie ahead, the children offered Sheena to join the crew. Sheena, will you come with us? It would have been dangerous leaving you alone there, but coming with us might be just as bad. What do you want to do? Yes, please take me with you. Sheena joined the crew with a jingle jangle. Pleased to meet you, Sheena. With more friends, we gotta work harder. I am happy to have more friends, but I, I feel a little nervous. Boy, you really are shy around girls. <laughs> what a nerd. That has nothing to do with me being smart, but okay. Normal route. Skills. Airstrike. Get rid of the flyers. I somehow missed two shots on that other air flyer, okay? That other air enemy. Grenade. Cannon. I missed. Ow. Yeah, I didn't miss that time. Nah, yeah, tiny tanks. Get rid of the one in the back. That one annoys me the most just because. Riot grenade. Ow. Fragmented shot. Hit everyone. Goodbye. Now, uh, you know what? We should probably check in to see what Sheena has in terms of affinity with everybody. So, Sheena, she's a machine gunner. She got... Uh... Level 3 with Kyle. Level 2 with Chick. Level 10 with Malt. Recovers SP with normal attacks. Uh... That probably means we want her backing chick. Yeah. Why well, we back chick? Let's see. We'll have someone back Maul. I'm not sure who. I think everybody's at level 10 with Maul. Yeah, so we'll just have May back Maul for speed. I don't really want Hana to back Kyle because Kyle's a simp. Yeah, we'll just keep having Hack 
Fat Kyle. Increased skill damage. Yeah, that'll be good. Alright. Confirm formation. Yeah, skills. Airstrike. Hit all the enemy. And they're gone. That was easy. And we got an infinity increase. I don't know for who because I was clicking buttons. Oh, more flyers. That's a problem for you. Airstrike. Got him. Punk. Goodbye. Oh, another flyer, huh? Piercing shot. Grenade. Goodbye. Fragmented shot. Hit everyone. Man, they suddenly became trash all of a sudden. I... We hit... Uh... I know that in the last session... We were dealing with the, uh... The dangerous route enemies. And those were pretty tough. But clearly they weren't tough enough because we absolutely stomped them. But now they're still throwing, like, the garbage... You know... Uh... First playthrough enemies at us. They're just getting stomped on. Now. I missed. Ah, uh, flyer, huh? Grenade. Skill, pissing shot. Fire the cannon. I missed. Ow. Scales lullaby. I need to be healed. Machine gun. There you go. Whoa. That's a lot of problems. And a lot of problems require a lot of solutions. Like, uh, using airstrike. Complain. Skills. Uh, risky zone? Yeah, let's do risky zone. Wham. That did nothing. Ow. Skill. Fragmented shot. And they're dead. Fabulous. Absolutely destroyed them. Ruins expedition. Uh, no. Because we got an intermission here. Uh, concerned about the facilities, of, or concerned about the fate, I don't know why I said facilities. Concerned about the fate of their families, the children asked Sheena about the prisoner's camp. It was filled with phalangos. Many seem to have exponential talent for spells. Like this. Ah, and that's when we learned that Cats have magical powers for no reason other than because cats. After a short incantation, a tiny light flickered at the girl's fingertips. The children, never witnessing spells before, stared in disbelief and awe at the light sparkled in their eyes. Wait. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, Kyle and Barn are Philankos. Also, uh, what's her name? Uh, Hana. Hana, Kyle, and Barn are all Philankos. And for some reason, none of them have uh, any kind of spiritual power or spells. 
I mean, I can understand Kyle because Kyle's a city boy. He doesn't really care for spells. But you would think Barn or Hana, especially Hana, would have somehow manifested some amount of spiritual power beyond everybody else's belief and, well, created a spell, cast it in an incantation, and just surprised and awed everyone. But nope, she just doesn't. Very strange. Wow. It's so pretty. It's shiny. Thank you. I think I've been full of darkness for so long. But when Sheena's light illuminated the place inside, it seemed to cast those shadows away. Okay. All right, I think with that, we can uh, basically end the session. Let's check the affinity status of uh, Sheena. She's at level three with Kyle. That's fine, more or less. She's at level two with Chick. Okay. And somehow level seven with Hack. So I think for the most part, what we're going to do is have Sheena talk with chick and boost the affinity as fast as we can and then it should just come natural as long as she's uh backing kyle right no she's not oh so hmm uh, i'll keep that formation i'm not sure what to do about that though Actually, what skills does Sheena have? Because she changes dramatically between the first game and the second game. So what skills do you have in the front lines? Piercing Shot, Mystic Veil, Lullaby, Ballad. Ah, Siphon Beam. Arcana Blast, Piercing Shot 2, and Peace Shield. So you don't have anything that hits multiple enemies like kyle does and kyle also does eagle eye which boosts accuracy which is really going to be needed for a lot of the later enemies because especially the flyers when it takes like 70 to 50 percent off of our uh, our accuracy and we basically can't hit them with any of these other cannons we have to use the machine gun Eagle Eye will basically make that irrelevant. We don't really need someone who can cast Ballad. Ballad is too strong. But it would be nice to have Hana in the front lines. Because Hana is just that overpowered. Because not only can she cast Ballad and uh, Lullaby. She also has Smoke Zone. And, uh, Smoke Zone, you know, considering any RPG, Smoke usually uh, hinders, if not completely blinds the enemy. And her to be able to hit every enemy and smoke them out basically, uh, makes her unstoppable. Untouchable. She is absolutely broken. So there's nothing doing... Nothing to do in the laundry. So I think at that point... Yeah. We can uh, literally say that'll be the end of today's session. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe. Take care. We'll see you in the next session. Death room. Got a very bad feeling about the death room. Death room.